So guys, welcome back to Let's Play Naruto's Mob Chronicles, and now it's time to get on with the last major stretch of the game. Uh, before this, the, a bunch of missions were generally eh, not that hard. They were mostly they were pretty doable, some respectable, not that hard. Now this, these last few missions, which I just looked it up, and apparently I'm only like four missions away from the end of the game. So hooray! This is where it's gonna get a little on the annoying side. Trust me, dude. These are not going to be short things anymore. They're going to be all pretty lengthy. And uh, this is where it gets a little... Yeah. Mm. So this is a studio? How fucking meta is this? And so began Naruto Uzumaki's amazing adventure. See what I mean? Just kidding. <laughs> really? I'm very sure you weren't. Huh? You're late. Neji, what are you doing here? Well, I think it was kind of a mission, dude. Our names were on the request, right? That's why I'm here. Uh, I'd forgotten that. <laughs> kind of a detail of a look, dude. Did you find the director? So far, I haven't seen anyone else. I see. This is kind of completely off topic, but for the longest time, I never could under identify if what was on Neji's head was actually so hair, hey, or if it was like a beanie, like double D head. Dragon's pool. Yeah, probably. Glum. Is something wrong? The director hasn't returned since he went out to that underground lake. Why the fuck would he go there? Maybe he got lost. Use your head, what there is of it. Something's happened to him. <laughs> we got lost. Please, like legit. We must find the director. That wasn't our original mission, but we'll check it out. Uh, thank you. I just know it's an extremely weird over over shoulder camera shot, but that works too. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, what what there's nothing here! Where all the yellow and green dots go? That's strange. Uh, it's about to say it's a straight shot there, but apparently that's not the case today. So I guess I'll just get back to the cave. <laughs> Neji, you beast. All right, that one interruption out of the way. <laughs> Seriously, just just one. I was so close to getting there perfectly, and. Eh. I don't know. That seemed like a perfect opportunity to just have a no encounter map. Just start dash right there. This game is a really weird shade of blue. The director's or green. Said this is the blue. entrance to the dragon's pool. Whoa! We go inside the tree? Oh, it's a tree. Really uh, actually, that would explain it. They say it used to be real popular with the followers of the dragon. I'm not sure that's how trees work. Dragon God, huh? Dragon God. God, the, the show literally is only missing dragons at this point. This entrance leads down underground. And yet all the games have them. I don't know why. So we think the director guy is down there, right? That's the general idea. Well then, what are we waiting for? Right. A game plan? Right. Back up. Some semblance of an idea of what we're supposed to do? Yeah. I will just charge down into the dragon tree. So nothing can go wrong. No, nothing can possibly go wrong. No. You know we do kind of need to identify what the hell it's up with the director. What's the matter? How come you stop? There's someone else here. Come out. There's no point in hiding. It just occurred to me how hardcore Byakugan is in the first part of the ser series, Ben Shippuden hits, and it just becomes the most useless thing ever. Oh, hey, look, zombies. Oh, okay. Or is that one sound ninja that was at the tuning exams? Except now he's kind of dead. Oh, I got six rations. What the fuck? That is insane. Time to rip it up. Mmm. I love rotation. That's such a good one. Ah, shit. Then that happened. Let's see if I can take at least one of them out. Or I can just go right to his thing on what I want to do. A tribe rounds. Something. Rather. That's new move. That's new name and move. All right. Actually, I've been pra experimenting a little bit with. Okay. I was just <laughs> sure. Just not gonna have a continuous chain of any. Sure. Fucking twelve rations. Do I really need that many? Really? <laughs> Who were those guys just now? Who knows? But it's obvious we are not exactly welcome here. If the director came this way too. Yeah, I think we can assume he's been captured by them. We gotta or killed. Either on. one. 
Hmm, so that's uh, probably not a good thing. Just a director running around down here that's probably totally unarmed. There's, nope, those are not signs up there. And of course, just like the other areas I pointed out before, this area is not going to be repeated later on, so this is a very good thing. And I just realized I have only three kunai equipped. I should probably uh, switch to something else that's a little more plentiful. I'm not sure we can go. Hey, guys. No? Hmm. I must have actually sold all of them. Oops. Who is Kunai? Eh. I don't think I got on that much of my arms anyway. Nope. Oh, I love Air Dash. It makes platforming so, so much easier. If you guys get the chance, please, by all means, put the Air Dash on. It's so nice. <clears throat> Whoa, that's quite a drop. That'd be hard for even us to climb. You think the Jesus. went down here? It'd be one thing if he descended on his own, but if he fell. Don't even talk about falling. <laughs> Let's get after him. You are the guys who can walk up the side of walls, and you're worried about that shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait. Where am I going right now? I mean, I know I'm pretty good. I'm alright at this game, but I don't have this game memorized like the back of my hand, so I'm kind of flying a little blind right now. Alright. So, like I said before, I was experimenting with some of the controls, and it turns out if you press X and square at the same time, you can, after doing a combo and it'll just lie on the ground, you can actually hit him off the ground and hit, give him a free follow up. And, you know, it's always great if you want to. Make sure your enemy's gonna be dead after a combo. Let me see if I can give an example of that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's got just gonna infinitely spawn, so I'm just gonna keep moving. Since I think this is um, where a kind of a new plot element is gonna be introduced. That will be explained later, but all you need to know is that they're basically zombies. That's it. They're zombies. That's it. And they it kind of infinitely respawn too, so don't waste too much time on them. Unless you know you want to grind some good items, in which case, by all means. Alright, where... Oh, wait, duh, out that way. So I'll make sure I'm going the right way. Should be going the right way, since those signs never really lie to me. Can I go this way? Yes, I can. Hmm, interesting. My explorer, this side is tingling. All oh, and remember, you can only visit this area, like, once. Uh, not where I want to go. <laughs> I'm not going that way. We don't think so. Can't see a reason why I'd want to. Like ever. Yeah. Fuck you, fence. Nope. Oh damn! This place is, looks like it's getting kind of crazy. Hmm. That's some good iced tea. What is this place? It looks like a man-made reservoir. How can you tell that? It also looks like a dead end. Looks like, so like the other area we're in. It's not. Look. Oh, that's blended. We just have to swim down and open it. No. With all the water pressure, the door won't open. Then what do we do? We just have to go ahead. Oh, that could find a way to dry the water. Look. Oh, how convenient. Hmm. I wonder if we're supposed to go touch that. I don't know. Call it a hunch. Yeah. I gotta do like I gotta do this this level a little bit. I mean it's not much in the creativity department, but at least it's a nice change of pace. And since I don't we haven't really been in a um, cave area in this game yet, have we? Nothing not coming to mind anything in that department, no. I get it. This let's go. Yeah. Do it. Hell yeah! And throughout this entire playthrough, I've not used those save points once. Hmm. You're just hoping I don't have to. It seems we were I actually know there will be one on, instance where I'm going to have to do it. AKA okay, right before the last boss battle, which if like, any luck, I should be at by the end of this uh, well, recording maybe. session. Since I am literally just on the doorstep this. of being this entire game. Well, Some heavy Mario 64 vibes from this cave. I don't know why. Might be the textures. I think it's that. 
I think that's it, yeah. We. Oh no, now I'm about to get ambushed, am I? Okay. Wait, where did he come from? It's those guys again! They don't seem to want to let us through. So what? We're going through you think anyway. so? I don't know, they seem kinda of willing to let us go through, but we'll probably just have to ask nicely. Alright. Uh I don't know if there's a finite amount of enemies to kill here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume there is. Alright, slide. Mm. Ooh, I could probably bunny hop that. That's not what I want to do. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Ah, I didn't quite get it. I'm just gonna right. I just managed to like b launch him off the, and then like just quickly jump up in the air for an air combo. Just, I've never once used an air combo in this game yet. That'd be kind of interesting. All right. Shit. Oh, this is, this is where the point of me not liking this game come, really comes in handy. Or really kicks in. Dudes who can interrupt your combos. Yeah. That's never a fun time. Thanks, Ninja, for being broke as hell, though. Ah, uh, a Trigram's palm rotation. Hopefully, Naruto can have that. If only this was Ultimate Ninja 3. Which I cannot wait to get to that game, by the way. That's gonna be fun. I don't want to just notice the dragon claws above the door. What? I don't think that was there before. Sincerely doubt it. <clears> oh, <throat> well, I just learned that apparently if you rotate the right analog stick, you can probably start um, getting chakra and health res respawns from the low point. I so wish I knew that earlier. Hey, old man, you okay? Stay back, please. No, forgive me. <laughs> Are you the director guy? We're here to save you. <laughs> Whoa, that poor and just so that. meta of seeing a dude in a modern day tux uh, tuxedo amongst these guys is just so weird. I I could just, uh, such a whiplash. I don't think that qualifies as a pool, man. Dark foreboding. Yeah, I'm getting a bad feeling too. <laughs> Naruto of all people getting a bad feeling. Oh boy. Alright, well. Actually, upon my first instincts of playing this game the first time through, I was like, eh, I'm gonna take a look around and see what else is there. No, nothing? Okay. So, place is called Dragon's Pool, but it's got this little machine in the back. I wonder what this could possibly be for. Dare I ask? I wonder what this button does. Naruto, behind you. Okay. <laughs> Giant mantises. Can't say would have ever expected that in a, Nar in a Naruto game as a boss fight. That is, that is new. But I, would, I don't believe these guys appear later on in the game as other boss, other fights. I'm pretty sure this is like a one-time occurrence. But anyway. What I read from uh, one game facts article was that if you want to take these guys on you have to have, apparently have uh, some sort of fire weapons equipped because apparently those do a shitload of damage and that's quickly being ruined right where did the matrix music come from this is pretty cool oh no there's another one ah shit it's starting to fall back as well all over again hold up a sec time to do what when Neji does that best not getting my ass kicked of course Abusing a trigram 64 palms. Oh, this is so great. I came out to 65. Liar. No. Man, everybody's hang on. It's always good. Oh my god. He's got to hit. He's got to just. Just wrecking me on the ground right now. At least the one on the left's almost dead. Hang on. Am I out of. Yeah, I'm out of that. Okay, let's uh, try something different then. 
you know, as far as strategy against this dude, yeah, long range attacks, that's all you need. And the only long range moves they do have become pretty pretty easy to dodge once you re realize the pattern. Yeah, that. Firebombs. Should probably use these early, actually. Actually, I can only hope these are actually doing a decent amount of damage. God, these things are juggling me now. Well, I got nudged by something. Shit. And... Huh. Yeah, going melee against these guys probably is not the best of ideas. But hey, look what I can do. Sweet. Complete destruction time. I don't know if Naruto is invincible in this mode or not, but either way, I should probably use this uh, opportunity to heal a little bit. Sweet. Oh my god, complete destruction. This dude's health is not dropping though. What the hell? Ugh. This is kind of unsettling, actually. Even Nine Tails mode, which which I just got a, a 64 hit combo off, and it's still not dead. Oh, well, Ninja should be able to kill him off. What is a way I'll go to my partners? That'd be cool. So I just all into Naruto. No, because uh, ow. I have an idea. Whoa. Okay, so I didn't know that. Apparently, pressing circle with Neji allows them to do that. Hmm. Check more bombs. You can also tag him off the ground too, which is a very good thing. Now it's not hitting him at all. Oh, he's doing the web thing now. He's not a fucking spider. He can't shoot web at his ass. I don't think anyway. Maybe there's some crazy anatomy thing to grasshoppers I'm not aware of. Uh, I don't know. We almost ended up as that thing's lunch. Yeah, both of them. Are we ignoring how there were two of them? Okay. Seriously, giant fucking mantises. What the hell? It's faint, but there's the smell of blood coming from this machine. Why? It's a very distinct thing to pop up, man. Who cares? Let's get out of here, pronto! Wait, doesn't this machine bother you? Oh hell yeah, it does. Bothers me is a giant praying mantis trying to rip me apart. That's an equally valid concern there. Let's head back. Should probably follow a little report for that though. Just swing by later. I don't know. Little, do a little reconnaissance. Be like, hey, there's a giant ass machine down there. That's kind of crazy looking. Okay. Oh wait, how do you draw that conclusion? Ooh. Ha. <laughs> Naturally, as always, Orochimaru, because we don't have any other villains to work with right now.